Mary Roberts, Nay Boggs, December 27, 1943 September 17, 2019, known as Cokie Roberts, was an American journalist and best selling author. Her career included decades as a political reporter and analyst for National Public Radio and ABC News, with prominent positions on Morning Edition, The McNeil Slash Lehrer News Hour, World News Tonight, and This Week. Roberts, along with her husband, Stephen V. Roberts, wrote a weekly column syndicated by United Media in newspapers around the United States. She served on the boards of several non-profit organizations such as the Kaiser Family Foundation and was appointed by President George W. Bush to his Council on Service and Civic Participation. Early Life and Education Mary Martha Corinne Morrison Claiborne Boggs was born on December 27, 1943, in New Orleans, Louisiana. She received the nickname Cokie from her brother Tommy, who, as a child, could not pronounce her given name, Corinne. Her parents were Lindy Boggs and Hale Boggs, each of whom would serve for decades as Democratic members of the House of Representatives from Louisiana. Lindy succeeded Hale after his plane disappeared over Alaska in 1972. Cokie was the couple's third child. Her sister, Barbara Boggs Sigmund, would become mayor of Princeton, New Jersey and a candidate for the Senate. Her brother Tommy Boggs would become a prominent Washington, D.C., attorney and lobbyist. Roberts attended the Academy of the Sacred Heart, an all-girls school in New Orleans, before graduating from the Stone Ridge School, an all-girls school outside Washington, D.C., in 1960. She graduated from Wellesley College in 1964, where she received a B.A. in political science. Career Cokie Roberts 2002. Her first job in journalism was at WRC-TV in Washington, D.C., where she was host of its weekly public affairs program Meeting of the Minds. After moving with her husband to New York City, she found work in 1967 as a reporter for Cowell's Communications. She worked briefly as a producer for WNEW-TV before her husband's career relocated them to Los Angeles, where she worked for Altman Productions then for KNBC-TV as producer of the children's program Sereta Pity. She moved with her husband to Greece, where she was a stringer for CBS News in Athens. Roberts began working for NPR in 1978, where she was the congressional correspondent for more than 10 years. Roberts was a contributor to PBS in the evening television news program The McNeil Slash Lehrer News Hour. Her coverage of the Iran-Contra affair for that program won her the Edward Weintel Prize for Diplomatic Reporting in 1988. From 1981 to 1984, in addition to her work at NPR, she also co-hosted The Lawmakers, a weekly public television program on Congress. She went to work for ABC News in 1988 as a political correspondent for ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings continuing to serve part-time as a political commentator at NPR. While working in Guatemala in 1989, Sister Diana Ortiz, a Catholic nun from New Mexico, was abducted, raped, and tortured by members of a government-backed death squad, who believed she was a subversive. During a subsequent interview, Roberts contested Ortiz's claim that an American was among her captors. The United States provided significant military aid to Guatemala at the time. Roberts implied that Ortiz was lying about the entire episode, although Ortiz later won a lawsuit against a Guatemalan general she accused in the case. Starting in 1992, Roberts served as a senior news analyst and commentator for NPR, primarily on the daily news program Morning Edition. Roberts was the co-anchor of the ABC News Sunday Morning Broadcast. This week with Sam Donaldson and Amp, Cokie Roberts from 1996 to 2002, while serving as the chief congressional analyst for ABC News. She covered politics, Congress, and public policy, reporting for World News Tonight and other ABC News broadcasts. Her final assignment with NPR was a series of segments on Morning Edition titled Ask Cokie in which she answered questions submitted by listeners about subjects usually related to U.S. politics. Awards and Honors Roberts won the Edward R. Murrow Award, 
the Everett McKinley Dirksen Award for coverage of Congress and a 1991 Emmy Award for her contribution to Who is Ross Parrott. In 2000, Roberts won the Walter Cronkite Award for Excellence in Journalism. She and her mother, Lindy Boggs, won the Foremother Award from the National Center for Health Research in 2013. Roberts was inducted into the Broadcasting and AMP, Cable Hall of Fame in 2000. She was also cited as one of the 50 greatest women in the history of broadcasting by the American women in radio and television. Roberts was a president of the Radio and Television Correspondents Association. Personal Life and Death She was married to Stephen V. Roberts, a professor and fellow journalist, from 1966 until her death. They met in the summer of 1962, when she was 18 and he was 19. They resided in Bethesda, Maryland. She and her husband had two children. Their daughter Rebecca Roberts is also a journalist and was one of the hosts of POTUS 08 on XM Radio. In 2002, Roberts was diagnosed with breast cancer. She was successfully treated at the time, but died from complications of the disease in Washington, D.C. on September 17, 2019. Books Capital Dames, The Civil War and the Women of Washington, 1848-1868 Harper Collins. April 14, 2015. ISBN and NBSP, 978-0-06-200276-1 MW Parser Output Site. Citation. MW Parser Output. Citation Q. MW Parser Output. Citation. CS1 Lock Free A. MW Parser Output. Citation. CS1 Lock Limited A. MW Parser Output. Citation. CS1 Lock Registration A. MW Parser Output. Citation. CS1 Lock Subscription A. MW Parser Output. CS1 Subscription. MW Parser Output. CS1 Registration. MW Parser Output. CS1 Subscription Span. MW Parser Output. CS1 Registration Span. MW Parser Output. CS1 WS Icon A. MW Parser Output. Code. CS1 Code. MW Parser Output. CS1 Hidden Error. MW Parser Output. CS1 Visible Error. MW Parser Output. CS1 Main. MW Parser Output. CS1 Subscription. MW Parser Output. CS1 Registration. MW Parser Output. CS1 Format. MW Parser Output. CS1 Kern Left. MW Parser Output. CS1 Kern WL Left. MW Parser Output. CS1 CS1 Kern Right. MW Parser Output. CS1 Kern WL Right. Stories about the formidable women of Washington, D.C. during the Civil War. We Are Our Mother's Daughters, Revised and Expanded Edition. Harper Collins. 1998 ISBN and NBSP, 978 0 06 1872358 Essays. Founding Mothers. The Women Who Raised Our Nation. Harper Collins. April 13, 2004. ISBN and NBSP, 978 0-06-009025-8. 2004, the book explores the lives of the women behind the men that wrote the Constitution of the United States and the Declaration of Independence. Ladies of Liberty. Harper Collins. October 13, 2009. ISBN and NBSP, 978 0 06-173721-3. Continues the story of early America's influential women who shaped the U.S. during its early stages, chronicling their public roles and private responsibilities. Cokie Roberts, Stephen V. Roberts, April 7, 2009. From this day forward. Harper Collins. ISBN and NBSP, 978-0-06-186752-1. Cokie Roberts, Stephen V. Roberts, March 8, 2011. Our Haggadah, Uniting Traditions for Interfaith Families. Harper Collins. ISBN and NBSP, 978-0-06-207465-2. Weimard, Ellie, 
1999. Conversations with Uncommon Women and NBSP, Insights from Women Who've Risen Above Life's Challenges to Achieve Extraordinary Success. New York, Omicom. Pages and NBSP, 254. ISBN and NBSP, 9780814405208.